Hello to everyone watching this footage, it's Leviathan here again, and to start things off I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I am born high-functioning autistic, I am obsessed with fiction, and I am planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did for his. For this particular footage, I'm going to introduce three characters. There's The characters are Kyborg, Lady America, and Mashera. And if you guys bear with me, I'll do all that I can to um, introduce the characters to you by describing them and such. I hope you guys bear with me as I read this, you know? Just think of it as like a resume or something like that, you know? Just please. Kyborg. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 458 feet. Weight, 95,000 tons. Status, villain turned hero and ally of Kyjericus. Base, default Earth mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful, protective, and relentless. She would do anything to help Kyjericus. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, malfunctions, and being dwarfed. Powers, she possesses similar powers to Kyjericus, along with having bionic limbs and rocket thrusters for flight. She also wields an arsenal of built-in weapons. Eyes, bright red. Hair, deep black, short, and spiky. Origin. Considering Kyjericus as another notable roadblock for her, Dark Pym decided to do something to take her out of the picture. After a time of production, she and her clone allies created a cyborg version of the Queen of the Monsters, whom she decided to name Kyborg. After being commanded to destroy Kyjericus in the fight, Kyborg just about killed her if it wasn't for Kaibot to arrive and tear Kyborg limb from limb. After figuring that Kyborg would make a good ally, Kyjericus took Kyborg to the Master to repair and transform her into a worthy hero. Since then, Kyborg will do all that is necessary to go up against Dark Pym, among notable other threats. Costume She's covered in metallic scales. Teams, solitary, with Kyjericus and other heroes. Original inspiration, Kyjericus and Cyborgs. This next one is a character known as Lady America. Just try your best, okay? Just trying to keep things fair. Lady America. Real name, United States of America. Height varied, weight varied. Status, hero, and greatest nation in the planet. Base, within her boundaries. Intelligence, five brains. Behavior. Willful, loving, and somewhat moody. She will do anything to keep herself from being dethroned. She is literally the ultimate patriot. Lethality. Extremely deadly. She never dates guys she had beaten in war. Weaknesses. Stress. Betrayal. And terrorism. Powers. She has immortality. Martial arts. Mass alteration. And possesses uncanny reasoning skills. She can project liberty beams from her hands and nuclear streams from her eyes. She also has an iron will. Eyes, sky blue. Hair, red, white, and blue in shoulder length. Origin. One time, Pym and the Master decided that a notable way to make the United States more protected is by making it able to protect itself. With their combined effort, they harnessed the soul of the country and shifted it into a physical humanoid form, creating the United States as a legitimate person. Eventually, the newly manifested Lady America went to the beaches of New York and found that her adopted daughter, the Star Spangler, was put into a coma by the tyrannical Valkyrie. Outraged of this tragic event, Lady America beaten Valkyrie and tossed her across the Atlantic Ocean. Nowadays, she would spend time with her current president, lovely Liz, 
and has also taken the place as leader of the Patriots 3 until the temporarily comatose Star Spangler would come back from her absence. Costume. She always wear clothes that resemble her destined flag. Teams. Solitary. Leads the Patriots 3. And other heroes. Original inspiration. Studio C's USA. This is the last character that I'll introduce you guys. And I hope you uh, appreciate it. Mashera. Real name. Maria Savage. Height. 5 feet 9 and a half inches. Weight. 156 pounds. Status, villain, and enemy of Madame Shear. Base, New York City, USA. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, relentless, murderous, and stubborn. She'll do anything to honor the memory of her infamous father. Lethality, highly lethal. Xyrophobes, beware. Weaknesses, electricity. She has no healing factor. Powers. She wields a series of chain machetes, which are machetes designed to function like handheld chainsaws. She also possesses some advanced martial arts, along with some high intellect. Eyes, deep brown. Hair, deep black and scruffy. Origin. Maria Savage was a young woman who learned that her father was the late Boss Savage, a crime lord known to make Madame Shear become how she is. Outraged that her father died in prison, Maria decided to avenge him by making a series of chain machetes. After teaching herself how to fight, Mashera went out to kill the bladed genius Madame Shear. During the gruesome fight, however, Zap, had eventually arrived and almost killed Mashera with her electric powers. Maria was later revived by the reptilian Tyranitar, who since marked her as a notable member of the Scantily Six villain team. Mashera later became the new leader of the Getty Gang in her father's memory. Costume. She wears a metallic designed a metallic suit designed to hold her chain machetes. Teams, solitary, leads the Getty Gang and other villains. Order inspiration, gangsters and bladed weapons. Well, I hope you guys appreciated the storylines and such, and I hope those characters and such are comprehensible. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And if you have any more questions and other comments and such, you could also do it down below. Again, it's all on you. I hope you guys have a fine Valentine's Day, and hopefully things go in proper symmetry. And until next time, end transmission.